Hunter, Cincinnati police tells us more than 300 people have been shot in the city this year and 2021 is on pace right now to be the second deadliest in the city's history. Tonight, a 20 year old man is still recovering after being shot near TQL Stadium. Police say he was standing on Derek Turnbow Avenue. As our Courtney Francisco explains, that street bears an important name in our city's history of gun violence. In the shadow of TQL Soccer Stadium, near the popular Over the Rhine restaurant scene, you'll find Derek Turnbow Avenue, a street filled with children, parents and grandparents, living with the trauma of gunfire. You in uh, survival mode. We met Kiana Rogers in 2018 when her daughter Keisha Holloman died due to homicide. This time, her 20-year-old cousin is hospitalized after someone drove by his aunt's home on Derek Turnbow and started shooting. So people don't look at it like, oh, this is really somebody's life. This is real life. Doors down, stray bullets flew through an apartment on September 23rd and hit a 10-year-old in his bedroom. He survived, but his father broke down talking to us then. Like his daddy and his mama told him. This street was named in an effort to take back the community from gun violence in 1990. That's when stray bullets hit Derek Turnbow, leaving him paralyzed. President George H.W. Bush, entertainers and strangers across the country visited the honor student at the hospital before he died at 18. His proudest moments were graduating with his Taft High School class. There have been a lot of times really that I think that they would come. And living to see the street named in his honor. So at some point, when is it going to stop? How is it going to stop? 2021, this family wants brighter street lights, cameras, job training and mental health services for the community and someone to turn in the shooters. People don't care until it impacts their family. But the sad part is people do not want to talk about it because they don't want to be looked at as a tattletale or a snitch. Guess what? It's going to keep happening if we don't get these devils off the street. That was Courtney Francisco reporting no 